Hello everyone, this is Kelly and I'd like to welcome you back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and day two of our Celebrate release. Make sure you check out the description box below for the information on the release and our upcoming release party. First up, I have the new Lovely Layers Party Blower Dies and Coordinating Stencil. So this little die set creates the most adorable little party blower and there is a single stencil that goes along with it. So you can start with white paper if you wanted to, an ink blend. There are several different designs that you can stencil onto your little party blower to add polka dots or stripes, stars. And I have a photo that I wanna share with you that shows exactly how these go together. So this is our Lovely Layers Party Blower and this is the layering guide. You can see you can use it with the little uh, streamers that are coming out the end. You can see the cute little designs added on both the little curly part of the blower and the little stem of the blower as well. Super adorable when it's all put together. And then this is the Lovely Layers Party Hat dies and stencils. It creates the most adorable little party hat. There's a couple of different pom-poms and streamers that you can add to the top if you like. There's also um, what look like little hinges almost. And that is so you can really make a curved 3D kind of party blower to go on your cards, or this would be perfect on gift bags or gift tags, or even to decorate for a birthday party. Now the little pom-pom, there's a traditional little pom-pom. There's the pom-pom that I've added to the top of the little hat here. And there's also little streamers so you could make almost like a little princess party hat. Now this has a coordinating stencil as well. It's a single stencil. You can add like the plaid, there's polka dots, stars, and there's the little pennants. I'm gonna be using both the party blower and the party hat at the end of the video, so I hope you'll stick around for that. But before I go any further, I wanna share with you the Lovely Layers Party Hat Layering Guide. You can see here how all the pieces go together to create the little pom-poms, the fringe at the bottom. You can see the twirl little curlies at the top there to make a little princess hat and then there's even a guide that shows you how to add the little hinges on the side. Now next up I have the It's a Party dies and stencils. So this is a six stencil set and it's going to be hard to see in just a second but I have a graphic to share with you. Now you can stencil down this It's a Party design. It creates an adorable little background with cakes and cupcakes and little candies and gifts. And then there is a die set that you can use to cut out some of the elements that you have stenciled. So here is what that stencil set looks like when it is all used and put together and you've added your colors. So the finished image is there at the top left. You can use the dies to cut out the little cakes and things. You can pop those up off of your stencil design or you can stencil and die cut those and use them on another card, just those little images by themselves. So it gives you lots of different options in creating with this It's a Party die set and stencils. Next, I have the Wonderful Wishes die set and coordinating stencils. So this creates a gorgeous, either a birthday cake or a wedding cake. Now I'm gonna hold these up and again, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but I have a graphic to share with you. It creates this beautiful square floral design. Now the dies are gonna cut out both the cake or the square and also the flowers. So you can pop those up. Again, this is a six stencil set, so some of the stencils are gonna uh, help you to ink on or give color to all the florals. And then there is a stencil that is going to color in that raised cake plate and also the candles. Now I'm gonna go through these. You can see the leaves in this one. And if I hold them all together, you can kind of see the floral design. And then this last stencil is for the details on the cake stand and the little candles themselves. 
So here is the graphic that goes along with the Wonderful Wishes stencils and the dies. You can see all the stencils used there and then all together there on the far left side, you see what that beautiful design is when it's all stenciled together. Again, this does have coordinating dies so you can cut out the cake plate, you can cut out some of the flowers and pop those up. If you choose to make a birthday cake, you can add the little candles to the top. So this again is gonna give you lots of options whether you're creating for a wedding or for a birthday. Next is an add-on stamp and die set for our vintage gift card box. Now this is the birthday candle box. As you can see here, we have sweet little birthday candle box images so you can create your own little candle box. There's also a really large candle that would be adorable just on any kind of birthday card, but there is the top of the box the sides of the box and even the ends. And then there's some little sentiments like happy birthday or make a wish that can go in the little banner. And there's also the birthday candles label and then candles. There's also a little 12 count like sticker or a 15 cent sticker. There's a little cupcake and a big birthday cake. Now this, like I said, is an add-on for our vintage gift card box. Now this is a graphic of the 3D dimensional box. You can slip a gift card inside, but you can also use these stamps and dies to create a card. I like to do that a lot. So this is a card that I created in one of our live streams using that candle box, and I just love all those sparkly, shimmery, bright candles along with our new pattern paper. Now we also have another add-on, and this is the Celebration Vintage Gift Card Box add-on. Now this is just good for any kind of celebration. The sides and the ends and the top of the box, they have different shapes as you can see here for the little windows, perfect for little shaper, shaker cards. You can mix and match uh, the images. So for example, you could mix these little stars with the candle box stamps. There's a little cupcake image that says, may your day sparkle. And then of course we have all the dies. It's gonna cut out the little window. Or if you wanna make a shaker card, there's a little frame there so you can add your acetate and things like that. So again, lots of different options, whether you wanna add these stamps and dies onto the vintage gift card 3D box, or you can just use all of these to create a super cute birthday or candle box card. Next is a sweet little sentiment set that is called Across the Miles. There's stamps and a coordinating die set, and these are sweet little sentiments that would go perfect with any of our lovely layers birds or anything like that. But wishing you cloudless skies and happy times, happy birthday to you, flying across the miles with a birthday wish. To someone special, the birds singing sweetly, the sun shining bright, shall make this glad birthday a time of delight. And then there's also the coordinating dies that go along with the Across the Miles stamp set. Now next up is a cute little sentiment set that is called You're So Extra. We have extra and then you can make little checks in the box. You're extra special, extra loved, extra awesome. Have an over the top birthday. Hooray, you're so extra. Happy birthday. May, your, may you always shine bright. Wishing you a day of sweet celebrations and sunshine. So you could say happy birthday sunshine or hooray sunshine. There's also little candle stamps and little confettis. Of course, there is the coordinating die set so you can cut out all of those images. So super cute, fun fonts that you can add onto your birthday cards. Next is our newest addition to our mini messages sentiments, and this is the birthday edition. So we have lots and lots of different birthday sentiments. As you remember yesterday, I shared the sassy birthday. Well, these are just a little more just regular birthday. Happy birthday, blow out the candles, best wishes on your big day, sending hugs. There's also happy birthday in Spanish. I'm just here for the cake. Hip, hip, hooray, enjoy your day sending you sweet birthday wishes. And these stamps coordinate with the original mini messages die set. So this is the die set that has all of the little banners with different shapes that you can cut out. Those 
those messages to add on your cards. There's a rounded banner, there's a fishtail banner, and then there are also squares, depending on your needs and what type of card you are creating. Next is the beautiful and elegant sentiment set called Celebrating You. We have sentiments like one day a year handpicked just for you. There are a million reasons to celebrate you. Your birthday makes a million and one. Another year and you are just getting sweeter. Happy birthday. So happy to be celebrating you. Wishing you everything wonderful on your birthday. Celebrating with you is the best. To my favorite partner in crime, to the one who completes me, hope all your birthday wishes come true. Hip, hip, hooray, it's your birthday. And of course, we have the awesome coordinating die set that's going to cut out all of those beautiful sentiments. Okay, it's time to create a card with some of today's items. I'm going to use some of the paper from our new paper pads. I'll share those in depth on day four of this release, but I'm going to use the party blower uh, dies and stencil and also the party hat dies and stencil. Now I've already got this adorable little party blower all made here so I'm just going to stencil on the cute little design but I have cut the sweet little party hat out of like a butter yellow cardstock and I've used lots of pattern paper that I'm going to create the little pom-poms and the little trim. Now I am taking some Brutus Monroe gold sparkly paste and I'm going to add that over the stencil and put gold sparkly little uh, polka dots on to my little party hat. I'm just going to clean up my little ooey gooey pasty mess here and then I'll peel back my stencil off of this grip mat. I'm being really careful not to peel or mess up my beautiful sparkly polka dots but you can see here now I've got some cute little sparkles added on to this adorable little party hat. Now you'll notice the shape of these designs uh, especially the party hat it was created to look more rounded more real instead of just kind of a basic triangle next i'm going to take the stencil and i'm going to lay it over the top of my already created party blower and i'm going to add the little stars on to the little stem that you would blow into if you're at a little party i'm going to use the same gold and to mask off the area that i had um, already added those little die cuts onto up there towards the uh, little fringe part i'm just adding one of my little post-it notes there to cover that up that way the gold glitter just stays down there on what I'm going to call the little stem piece. Now you'll notice here where uh, the gold glitter kind of oozed out a little bit. I just take my tweezers and just kind of rub that off the side. Now I am laying uh, the little confetti, the little pom-poms that's going to create the border along the bottom side of the party hat. I'm just going to add a dot of adhesive to each of these uh, kind of little star shapes and then I can add that over. Now all of the little pom-pom pieces here were cut out of our new paper pads and so some of them have a subtle texture to them or have a little bit of a design. And so I'm just going to add these on, but I knew that the colors would be perfect because um, all of the colors in the paper pads, you know, are meant to go and mix well and coordinate with one another. So I'm just going to pick up the little red stars here and you'll notice that I'm twisting these uh, top ones in different directions so they don't all look the same. And so I'm going to twist these this way and that, and then I'm going to set this little piece aside and let it dry while I put together the pom-pom that's going to go on the top. So again, this little star-shaped pom-pom was cut out of the same pattern paper as I did the trim piece. And again, I'm just kind of turning these little star pieces this way and that so you can see each color in between the others. And I'm going to get this top layer added on here. And then again, I'm just going to set this aside and let all of that liquid adhesive dry. Now, when it's all good and dry, I added little dots of liquid adhesive to the bottom portion of the party hat to add on my little fringe layer or the bottom portion that's going to go there to the bottom. And I'm just making sure that I get that all in place before that glue has time to set up. 
And now I can add my little top pom-pom. I'm just gonna add a little dot of adhesive right there to the tip of the hat. And then I can add that little pom-pom. Is that not adorable? And then we have our little party blower and everything's gonna coordinate together and go so well with the blues and reds and happy party colors. Now, these are the two little hinges, what I'm gonna call hinges, that go in the party hat die set. They do have an embossed line in them so they're easy to fold up but this is to give your party hat a realistic kind of 3D shape without being too bulky. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of red line tape to both sides of this because I want this to stick down and not move uh, really well. So again, I'm gonna add this red line tape to both sides of these little hinges, and then I'm gonna connect each hinge to the underside of the party hat. So I've added one side here. You can see that I'm kind of butting it up against the edge of the party hat. And then when I'm ready to add that on to my card base, I can peel back that last layer of the backer for the red line tape and kind of give that a curve as I lay it down onto my card base. Now I'm gonna put the card base, and again, this was created using the pattern paper from the new paper pads and so it is going to perfectly coordinate with all the colors of my little hat and my party blower. So I'm adding a sentiment and this is from the mini messages birthday. So it says hooray, it's your birthday, it goes perfect with the cute little hat and the party blower and I just nestled that right down into the bottom of that scalloped rectangle. Okay, next I'm going to peel back the backer for the red line tape and this is sometimes a little booger to get off of the back of there. So I'm using my nails, I use my die pick, but uh, you can see I'm pressing that down and now I'm going to use the really fine tip of my die pick to peel back the backer for those. I've been so spoiled with um, our tabbed phone dots. Um, that have the handy dandy little tabs in there so it's easier for my fingers to get in there. You can see that I gave the party hat just a little bit of a curl with my fingers just gently and now I'm going to place down and make sure the adhesive is facing down to the paper and then I can kind of press the sides into place and that's just going to give that a subtle 3D look and uh, it's just adorable. And so it's not just a flat triangle on your card. I'm gonna take the sharp end of my die pick now and pick up and kind of twist and turn some of those little star pieces for the fringe that goes across the bottom. And then also our little uh, cute pom-pom that is at the top of the party hat. And that's just gonna give that just a little bit of extra dimension. Now to add the little party blower, I am cutting one of the tabbed foam dots. Those are the little foam dots that I've been so spoiled by. See the little tabs on the side? Makes it so easy to use and peel the backer up. So I've added a little foam dot to the back because our little party hat such ha has such cute dimension. And I'm just gonna add that right across the top. Now I'm gonna finish off this little pom-pom with one of our new Let's party adhesive gems and I'm going to stick that right into the center of that little yellow star piece that is um, at the top of the party hat. I just have to decide what cute color I want to add. I choose one of the blue ones, stick it right in there and then that is going to be just really adorable. Fluff up my little pom-pom at the top and then this card is all finished. Now here's an up close look at my finished card. I hope you have enjoyed all of the items that I had to share today in day two of our Celebrate release. Make sure you check out the description box below for all the information on this release and our upcoming release party. Join me tomorrow for day three. Bye-bye.